Yes, it's question and answer time again. This one's from Dale. Dale's sent in several, and he always asks good questions, so thanks, Dale. The title of the question is Flash Drive Files. The question is, I copied some borders and designs from my Windows 7 laptop onto a flash drive and took it out to my Windows XP Pro CNC router computer. When I tried to access the flash drive, it says the drive hasn't been formatted. Why is that? Note, this has worked before, but not now. Okay, Dale, I think the problem is the flash drive is formatted in something that the XP doesn't understand. If the flash drive had been formatted on your Windows 7 machine in, um, let's say, NTFS, it's possible that the XP, depending on the service pack version, might have trouble. And it really needs a FAT32, and I'll explain how to do that. But uh, really, most removable devices should be formatted to FAT32. That's kind of the standard. There's also FAT, and that's an older file system. And NTFS is in Windows uh, XP, but... Uh, it doesn't always work as a flash drive so the answer is to convert that drive to a fat 32 now you're gonna have to format it to do it but uh, it'll work from then on so either you can go ahead and format it when that message comes up to you in XP about it needs formatted go ahead and format it or you can put it back in your Windows 7 machine and I'll open up my computer so you can see my flash drive my flash drive is this K right here, and I just plugged it in. It's a 4 gig. Now, if I right-click on that and I go to Properties, you can see that the file system is a FAT32, and that's really standard, like I said, that most computer systems will understand, unless they're really, really old Windows machines. And if not, you can reformat it. You can actually right-click this and go to Format here. And this is where you can choose how you would like it to be formatted for your particular file system. And like I said, there's the NTFS, which it probably is. There's FAT, the older one, and FAT32. There's also an extended FAT, but don't use that. Anyway, you want to go ahead and choose FAT32 and then go ahead and start the uh, format process. And then try it, and it should work just fine. Thanks for the question, Dale. Appreciate it. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the GuruBrewShow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link, and leave a question, and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.